Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Bill's Baseball Vlog. Today I'll be talking about the starters for the All-Star Game, the possibility of games being reduced in the schedule, and more. But first I want to talk about the perfect game that took place the other night. Domingo Germain becoming the 24th pitcher in the history of Major League Baseball to throw a perfect game this was against the Oakland A's. An incredible feat, an incredible performance. 11 nothing was the final score. Um, what's very interesting about this, uh, a number of things interesting, one of which is Germain, or German, I apologize for messing up the name, in his last two games allowed seven and eight runs, respectively in his last two games and then he throws this perfect game and Yankees win it 11 to nothing this is the fourth time that the Yankees have had a pitcher throw a perfect game the first one probably the most famous perfect game Don Larson in the 56 World Series then you had David Wells and the last one to do it was David Cohn I hope I got that order correct Yes, it was David Cohn. Um, it's such an interesting feat. You know, anytime any pitcher throws a perfect game, it's incredible. But for, Ger you know, for German to do it after having two terrible starts, allowing seven runs in the first game and eight runs in the second game, to be able to throw a perfect game is just unbelievable. And it shows you that anything can truly happen in baseball an interesting stat that I got from baseball reference is with that no hitter and well that perfect game that snapped the ninth longest streak by a franchise of a team without being in a no hit game basically they were the ones that were no hit the A's that streak ended at 5,010 games and you think you know that's a lot of games that that's got to be the record no that's only the ninth longest the longest is the Chicago Cubs who went 60 years almost fi actually pardon me almost 50 years without being no hit 7,920 games from 1965 to July of 2015 that's the longest streak ever now for those that are curious the team that has the current uh, no hit game streak going is the Washington Nationals they have gone 3776 games without being no hit that started on July 19th, 1999, when they were a part of the Montreal Expos. So, hmm, pardon me, that history carries on, and we'll see, <coughs> pardon me, we'll see where that goes um, as far as the Nationals not being in a no-hit game like that on the wrong side goes. But congratulations it's the first time since 2012 we had a perfect game and 2012 was a fantastic year we had three perfect games in 2012 so an 11 year period without a perfect game heck of a job uh, by German and the New York Yankees all right it was talked about on part of the interruption earlier this week that Commissioner Rob Manfred is considering reducing the number of games from 162 to 154 which was the old schedule before they changed it in the early 1960s the reasoning for this is because they would like to have more international games the success that they had in london a few you know not too long ago with the cardinals and the cubs they like to you know try other countries japan uh, Mexico I think would be a few other um if they did the 154 games I would be for it because you would have the playoffs start right at the beginning of October and it would go all the way to the end of October for the most part so 
if they decided to do that, I think that would be a very good idea uh, to reduce the number of games. I know it's going to cost people money. It's going to, you know, cost this and that. But at the end of the day, I think a 154 game schedule is just as good as a 162 game schedule. Yes, you, you know, are going to lose out on four home games, you know, because you lose eight, but you would lose four on the road. Um, it, it would be interesting to see how they would be able to do that. Um, but I would be, I would be in favor of them doing 154 games. Uh, it, it, we would probably wouldn't get a lot of injuries either. I, I, I would think, um, maybe the number of injuries may go down a little bit, but that's just me. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm right. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm crazy. Who knows? Well, actually, I do know. And finally, last night, the starters for the All-Star Game were announced, and the Texas Rangers lead the way with four starters going to be in the All-Star Game, taking up three-fourths of the infield and the catching position. Meanwhile, the Braves and Dodgers each have three players starting in the All-Star Game. So a quick recap for the National League. Uh, Sean Murphy will be the catcher. Freddie Freeman will be first base. Luis Arias will be second base. Nolan Arenado, the third baseman. Orlando Arcia, the shortstop. Your outfielders are Ronald Acuna Jr., Mookie Betts, and Corbin Carroll, the rookie from the Arizona Diamondbacks. And J.D. Martinez will be the designated hitter for the National League. For the American League, Jonah Heim is the starting catcher. Yandy Diaz will be first base. Marcus Simeon will be second base. Josh Jung will be third. Corey Seager will be shortstop. Mike Trout, Randy Orozarena, and Aaron Judge will be the outfielders. And Shohei Otani will be the designated hitter. Now, of course, Aaron Judge is recovering from a torn ligament in his toe, so it's going to be very questionable if he does make the all-star game or not but that'll be something to keep an eye on uh the reserves will be announced over the weekend um probably the pitchers will be as well so it'll be we'll keep our eye on that but the game is on tuesday july the 11th in seattle for the all-star game congratulations to all the players announced as the starters for this year's all-star game that's going to do it for this uh, episode of Bill's Baseball Vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to watch more of my videos, hit the subscribe button. Would love to have you guys keep joining. Spread the word on this video series. Thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful weekend. And if I don't do a video before this Tuesday, have a happy 4th of July.